So you're not going to answer my question? No, I've answered your question in my answer. You haven't I've answered my question. I'm sitting here asking you, and you're declining to answer. I've explained how uh, the guidelines work. This is a case where you had an 18-year-old who possessed and distributed hundreds of images of eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds and 10-year-olds, and you gave him, frankly, a slap on the wrist sentence of three months. Senator, Do you I don't, regret it? I don't remember whether it was um, distribution or possession in it the was law. Both. Do you regret it? In, in the law, there are different crimes that people commit Judge, you gave him area. three months. My question is, do you regret it or not? Senator, I regret is that in a hearing about my qualifications to be a justice on the Supreme Court, we've spent a lot of time focusing on this small subset of my sentences, and I've tried to explain You regret that many we're focusing time. on your cases? I don't understand. No, you. no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the fact that you're talking about Child pornography seven cases. very serious cases. No one case, Senator, can stand in for a judge. I'm not asking you that. I'm record. asking if you regret this sentence in this case. And it sounds like the answer is no. But I want to tell you I regret it. No, Senator, I said the guidelines system is designed to be rational. Okay, so let me ask you this. Why isn't it rational to sentence people who have thousands of images on a computer to more time as opposed to somebody who has one or two pictures in the mail? In other words, the more images there are, why wouldn't you want to sentence that person to more time rather than less? Why isn't that rational? Senator, I've answered this question and I'll stand on what I already answered. So, but, but your answer is what? I mean, refresh my memory. Senator, I've answered this question. I've explained how the guidelines work and I'll stand on my answer. I've talked uh, to each defendant, as you have quoted, explaining to them the harms that their crimes caused and I imposed not only a term of imprisonment, but also all of the other consequences of the offense to include decades of supervision, restrictions on use of a computer and the like. That's my answer. I've answered it many times. Do you have other questions for me? I am a mother who has daughters who took these cases home with me at night because they are so graphic in terms of the kinds of images that you are describing. They give you not only the actual videos, which you can ask to see, but they describe in the briefs, in detail, what these videos show. So I am fully aware of the seriousness of this offense and also my obligation to take into account all of the various aspects of the crime as Congress has required me to do, and I made a determination seriously in each case.